Distinguished guests, please join us in welcoming our students to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC, the Doctor of Dental Surgery, Class of 2026, and the Advanced Standing Program of International Dentists, Class of 2024. Darker, ready? Can I go? Distinguished guests, please join us in welcoming our students to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC, the Doctor of Dental Surgery, Class of 2026, and the Advanced Standing Program of International Dentists, Class of 2024.
Please be seated. Thank you. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, welcome to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry's White Coat Ceremony. Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. The first time I went to the dentist, I had a ton of cavities. I think I was five, but it's okay, because I got through it, and here we are. <laughs> first time I remember going to the dentist, I remember I fell outside in my backyard and hit my tooth. I was crying so much, and I went to the dentist, and he did a baby root canal on me, and the pain just went away. It was like magic. I don't remember being scared. I remember there was a big window. There was a tree outside. I remember just loving the smells and hearing him mix a bunch of things up in the background, and I just thought that was really cool. I do remember my first week and first day of dental school. I was excited. I finally was in, a, a, in my career. I was in my profession. I remember going up to the sim lab for the first time, and then you go and pick up this cardboard box and inside it had your hand piece, your high speed, your slow speed, your rubber bowl, your spatula. We got our cheeks, we got our typodonts, and I remember seeing my name plate with my name engraved there and it was kind of just a moment where everything felt real. You're looking through all of these supplies, you don't know what some of these are, you have seen some of them before, and then all of a sudden you get a drill and you're just like, wow, uh, this is real. I remember picking this up and not knowing anything about it, but knowing that my dental journey was starting sooner than I could imagine. The white coat ceremony is a very special day to all of us. On the students' ends, you can see the pride, the joy, the eyes of the families that are so happy to see their loved ones getting to that point. But you can also sense the anxiety in the eyes of the students. But for us faculty, we know that we will walk you through this journey Rest assured, you will be just fine. White coat ceremony is the beginning of a transformational journey. When I don my white coat, I'm reminded of the responsibility that I have to always adhere to the highest codes of ethics and professionalism as I go to serve mankind. To me, my white coat symbolizes uh, a sense of achievement. It's something that I hang in my room very proudly. Um, before I go to class every day is something that I look at just to remind me. There's a lot of trust behind that white coat. When I received my white coats, I felt that I am now having the responsibility to take on this identity as doctors. So when you put the white coat on, it makes you feel like a dentist. It makes you feel like you're respected. When a patient sees someone in a white coat, they know that we're here to help them. It symbolizes the privilege that we get to participate in the lives of our patients. It means honor by being part of a field that holds the patient care in the highest regard and a responsibility to respect that care and respect patients every single day of my life. I still wear the white coat and students and faculty see me on the clinic with the, with the white coat all the time. So it has a special place in my heart. My advice to the students is to stay focused, to come prepared, to do your best every day and trust that the Trojan family has your back always. Come prepared, get ready to learn, grab every opportunity that you can while you're still in school. Come every day if you can, just be in the clinic and come stay upstairs, ask questions and be very active. Enjoy every single bit of this experience. It goes by so fast and it comes at you so fast. Always keep an open mind. You know, you may have your good days and your bad days too. Always make sure to be flexible. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Trust the process. Our professors and the school have put so much time and effort into our curriculum. Every student is going to come out of USC an amazing dentist. Getting to learn from world-class faculty, it's, it's something so surreal. You read about their names in articles and and just being able to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's so fascinating to have this wealth of knowledge just right in front of us. Well, one of my duties, I think, to the students here as a faculty member is um, role modeling um, and mentorship. 
One of the most important things that I've learned here in dental school is that we want to treat our patients with respect, integrity, and utmost compassion. You know, I've always dreamed of a life where I could care for people and be hands-on in that care, and the dental life is just right for me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies. I dedicate my life to the health of those whose lives I directly or indirectly touch. I will always conduct myself with conscience, compassion, and dignity. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and together we will nurture our shared humanity. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor. Fight on! Fight, Fight on. on! Fight, Fight on. on! Fight on! Fight on. Please welcome Dr. Avishai Sadan, Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2022 White Coat Ceremony. My name is Avishai Sadan, and I'm the Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. I am tremendously excited to be here today to mark the beginning of a special journey for the incoming members of the DDS class of 2026 and the ASPID class of 2024. Yep. Today, today, we will witness an exciting transformation here inside the Bovard Auditorium. The student who filed here today will depart forever changed. Students, by the time you leave today, you will have put your Ostro white coat for the first time. You will have taken a solemn oath to conduct yourself with compassion, honor, and professionalism. And you will leave this auditorium as the newest members of the highly regarded Trojan dental family. It's a transformation that will require much of you. Most importantly, you will be expected to uphold the high standards set forth by more than 120 years worth of students who have come before you. It's a responsibility reserved only for the best of the best. And from what I have seen from all of you so far, I am confident each of you is up to the, to the challenge. Please join me in a round of applause for the students taking part in the white coat ceremony today. Today, today is not only a special occasion for our students. We're also joined by the proud family, friends, and significant others who have stood by these students every step of the way. It is in part because of this unwavering love, support, and encouragement that our students have made it this far. To the family and friends in the audience, I'd like to offer our gratitude for entrusting us with your loved one's future. It is a responsibility we will not take lightly. Please join me in a round of applause for the family and friends joining us today. <laughs> Students, a few weeks ago, you all became a course of study that will test your limits, intellectually, emotionally, and physically. Your years at Ostro will not be easy ones. Many of you will routinely watch the sun rise and set over the dental school. You will spend hours studying in our library, conducting research in our laboratories, and providing treatment in our clinics. During this time, 
We will teach you to practice dentistry using the most innovative science, technologies, and methods. You will learn to practice dentistry not as it, as it exists today, but as, as it will be in 10, 15, and 20 years from now. It is partly this forward-looking curriculum that will help you stand apart from other dental school graduates across the nation. During your time at Ostro, there will be many exciting opportunities for you to augment your education even further outside the classroom. There will be chances to conduct research with some of the profession's most well-respected investigators, to provide treatment to some of society's most vulnerable populations, and to develop leadership skills as part of the many student groups here at Ostro. I encourage you to take advantage of as many opportunities as you can because it is through these experiences that you will forge your raw talent, intelligence, and curiosity into a rock-solid career to last you the rest of your life. Once you graduate, you will enjoy the many perks of being a member of the Trojan Dental family. The Century Club Alumni Association is the dental school's alumni support group, and you automatically become a member after graduation. The group offers everything from mentorship to networking opportunities and connects you to a vast group of well-connected Trojan dentists willing and able to help you in your career. It's what being a, dental, a Trojan Dental family member is all about. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. It wasn't long ago that Natalie Black was sitting here just like many of you, eager to put her white coat and officially begin her dental career. In fact, she's done it twice, having completed our dental hygiene program in 2019. Today, she is a third year DDS student and the president of the alumni of the Associated Student Body. As a double degree Trojan, she's someone who has plenty of insight into what the coming years have in store for you. Please welcome to the podium, student doctor, Natalie Black. Thank you. To my Trojan family, friends, and the DDS class of 2026 and ASPID class of 2024, I am honored to be here this evening to welcome you to the Ostro family. You have all worked so hard to earn your spot within this room, and I congratulate each of you on such a wonderful accomplishment. It's crazy to imagine that I was in your shoes just four years ago. I remember being very overwhelmed by this point in the trimester. By now, you are practicing drilling on plastic teeth and learning how to manage PBL, all while trying to balance your personal lives with your family and friends. With so much going on, it's sometimes easy to lose sight of the purpose behind the work you're doing every day. Though PBL cases might seem difficult and demanding, you will develop the critical skills needed to treat patients through evidence-based decision-making. And though Dr. Park's precise cavity preparations may seem like the end of the world now, in just a short period of time, you will use the same hand skills learned in that class to treat underserved populations around the Los Angeles area, through Ostro's clinic, through mobile dental clinics, and even on Skid Row at the Union Rescue Mission. I can vividly recall my first time serving as a clinician at mobile clinic. One of my patients was an eight-year-old girl who had never been to the dentist before, and she needed a root canal on her front tooth as her first treatment. Understandably, she was very scared and very nervous. Earning her trust and providing her with the care that she needed and deserved was beyond rewarding. Throughout your time at Ostro, you will change the lives of so many individuals. Although the days can be long, watching your patient leave with a smile on their face will always remind you that your hard work does pay off. Some of the most important advice that I can give is to be resilient. 
Over the next four years, I challenge you to view failure not as a disappointment, but as an opportunity for growth. I remember failing my first clinical exam. I was performing anesthesia injection techniques on a brave classmate of mine. I happened to miss a few of the landmarks, and I failed. I called my parents sobbing, and I remember my dad's most valuable advice. Natalie, you are in school to learn, and no one is expecting you to be perfect. If you were able to do everything perfectly, you wouldn't need to be in school. Every procedure that you perform is an opportunity to improve your skills. And I can promise you that this program will prepare you to provide outstanding care. I also challenge you to keep an open mind. Some of you may have entered dental school dead set on sticking to general dentistry, while others might be set on specializing. And some of you may even be sitting here unsure if this is truly the right career for you. Personally, I entered dental school determined to become an orthodontist, only to be swept away by endodontics during my second year. Each of you will have your own unique path, and that is okay. Work hard, practice as much as you can, seek mentorship, and follow your interests wherever they take you. Most importantly, though, remember to enjoy every moment along the way. Assisting classmates, participating in clubs, and conducting research will not only begin to build your professional network, but will also provide you with unique and memorable experiences. The school has so many amazing opportunities, and I can't wait to hear about the memories that you all make. And lastly, don't forget to take care of yourselves. Take breaks, go to the football games, call your loved ones, and enjoy everything that Los Angeles has to offer. Though four years may seem long, it will fly by faster than you can imagine. This is the first of many milestones in your dental careers. I am so happy and honored to welcome you to the Trojan family. Congratulations and fight on. Thank you, Natalie. Our next speaker should be a familiar face to you all after making her film debut in the video we watched in the beginning of today's ceremony. This month, Dr. Ya'ara Berdan celebrates her 13th anniversary as a faculty member at Ostro. She is the co-chair of our Department of Endodontics and Periodontics and the director of our pre-doctoral endodontics program. In 2019, she and her husband Brody, Brady joined Ostro's Friends of Dentistry support group. They also contribute to our Century Club Alumni Association endowed scholarship for international students. Earlier this year, Dr. Berdan earned her MBA from the Marshall School of Business. Incidentally, yep, but even better than that, incidentally, both her and her son were students on the USC campus at the same time. While Dr. Berdan was studying for her MBA, her son was earning his bachelor, her bachelor, his bachelor degree. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Ya'ara Berdan. Welcome family, friends, guests, and of course the incoming class of 2026. It is such an honor for me to speak to you on this momentous day and welcome you not only to the Trojan family, but to the profession of dentistry. You have all worked hard to get to this point in your, your life, and you have proven that you have what it takes to be an oral health provider. You have demonstrated that you have stamina, resilience, curiosity, and a desire and compassion to help others. Time will fly, trust me, it will. You may feel like you're at school 24 seven, the days are long, but the months are short, and time will fly by. And in less than four years, you will have the privilege and responsibility to care for patients, whether you're in a residency or starting practice. Patients will sit in your chair and listen to you and trust you to provide the best care for them. That is a huge responsibility. You're now at the beginning of the journey to become that trusted professional. A profession is a way of life, a vocation, not simply a way of making a living. 
Your purpose is to your patient's health, and by providing that, you will also benefit, not only financially, but with a sense of purpose and accomplishment and the feeling of making a difference in the life of others. The journey is not easy, but then again, nothing that is worthwhile ever is. You'll be undergoing a rigorous curriculum, but one that is meant to prepare you to become skilled at treating your patients. You'll learn a lot of new information, but as Einstein said, education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. You'll be expected to apply this knowledge and use critical thinking skills in practical, meaningful ways on a daily basis in clinic and rotations. Every patient that you see will present with a different set of circumstances, and you'll use your knowledge in the most appropriate way to treat every patient as an individual. Your patients care not only about what you know, but they also want to know that you care. I can tell you from personal experience, when I had a critical health issue, I initially went to a world-renowned surgeon, but chose a different surgeon to treat me someone who demonstrated interest in me as a person. As a healthcare provider, I know that skill and knowledge are critical for successful outcomes, but in reality, it was more than that. Great healthcare providers are not only skilled clinicians, they also demonstrate humility, empathy, compassion, and integrity. These characteristics inspire patient trust and allow for excellent care. Along with the biomedical and clinical knowledge, you will have opportunities to learn and apply these soft skills, which are just as important. You'll also have many opportunities outside of clinic and the classroom to learn and develop as a person. Take advantage of all that the school has to offer. Studying is important, but balance your studies with involvement in clubs, research groups, leadership opportunities, and much more. Be curious and explore different areas. And if there's something that interests you, but it does not yet exist, take the initiative and create a new group. Recently, some students got together and formed a sustainability and dentistry group. There will always be a faculty or staff member to, that will support you. You inspire us. We are amazed at your energy and your way of looking at the world. That is one of the reasons that I love to teach and I look forward to working with you over the next four years. So welcome to the Austro Dental family, the Trojan family, and the new world of dental school. And let's honor and celebrate your choice to pursue a life of service that helps to enhance the health of society. Thank you. Thank you, Yara. I know it's here somewhere. <laughs> All right, here it is. Thank you, Dr. Burdan. Our final speaker practically bleeds cardinal and gold. He earned his DDS at Ostro in 1985 and has remained incredibly active ever since here at USC. He's a member of Ostro's Board of Counselors, active at our Friends of Dentistry Support Group, and represents Ostro uh, on the USC Alumni Association Board of Governors. While in dental school, he met his lovely wife, Sandy Chu, who is a USC dental hygiene graduate. Earlier this year, both Sandy and him were honored at the Asian Pacific Alumni Association Scholarship and Awards Gala with a service award for their longtime dedication to USC. It is through the American Pacific Asian Association that Darren and Sandy have established a scholarship in their name. And of course, with such deep roots at USC, it should come as no surprise that both their children, Brent and Tracy, graduate from USC as well. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Dr. Darren Chu.
Thank you, Dean Sedan. Oh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I, too, would like to extend a warm welcome and congratulate the DDS class of 2026 and the international class of uh, 2024. Um, I look out here and I see that you're all going to be my future colleagues. And I want you to know that you have chosen a wonderful profession. I'm so happy to be here this afternoon. Two reasons. Number one, we had a great Trojan win last night over Fresno State, if those of you went to the game. I was there, got home about midnight. Uh, glad to be here today because I get to talk about um, my greatest passion. And that passion is the practice of dentistry. Um, I'm a full-time practicing dentist. And uh, to me, there's nothing more rewarding or valuable. Uh, when I was growing up, I had a dentist, and I really respected him. Um, he had a full-time uh, practice, very successful. He had a good reputation in the community, and he had a true passion for dentistry. And so, I wanted to be just like him. He became my mentor. Um, so I decided I wanted to be, be a dentist when I was 14 years old. And now after 37 years of private practice, when I grow up, I still want to be a dentist. People always ask me, when am I going to retire? And my answer is, why should I retire? When I go to the office, I get to improve and change people's lives, make new friends, and I get to be an artist. So uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I'll probably be treating a patient one day. I'm going to keel over right there and they're gonna to have to pry the handpiece out of my hand, that's when I'll probably retire. Yeah. So just a few years ago, I started to think about what it takes to have longevity in dentistry. So I'd like to share with you three kind of pearls of wisdom that I think were, were, are important. Uh, first, make dentistry your passion and your hobby. I'm sure you've all heard this. That if you make your work, your passion and your hobby, you never have to work a day in your life. And I think this is so true. Uh, dentistry is so fascinating and interesting to me. There's always something new to learn. If you keep on learning, dentistry never gets boring, and that's how you eliminate job burnout. So second, don't get discouraged when things don't go right. Believe me, and you'll see, stuff happens. So I learned over the years, you just have to roll the punches. Things don't go right, always go right, and uh, not the way you planned. When things don't go right, just use that experience to learn, to use it as an opportunity to get better for the next time. You'll see that dentistry is a educational journey that is forever. Um, in the beginning, it was tough for me to kind of roll with the punches. It's easy to kind of let your ego get in the way, but now I've learned to relax and just enjoy the learning process. So even after all these years, every day, I learned something new. A little tweak, a little change, something that will make dentistry go a little bit better the next time. So number three, third, set up your practice model or practice style that's right for you. Not all practice models are the same. There's small offices, large offices, corporate offices. You can work out of a few chairs. You can work out of multiple chairs. You can own multiple dental offices. Think about if you want to specialize. So figure out the practice model that's right for you and just hang in there. Even during the bad times of recessions and through COVID, I stayed with my practice model. I didn't waver. And, and today, I'm so glad I did because these recent years have been my best and most fun years ever. So if you start kind of wavering from your ideal practice model, I think in the long run, you're gonna be unhappy and you're gonna to wanna to retire early. So future colleagues, you're now embarking on a lifelong path and adventure. You're about to attend the best dental school, maybe in the world. And why do I say this? Because I sit on the board of counselors and I'm a member of the Friends of Dentistry and I get the opportunity to see the vision that Dean Sedan has for this school. The Oscar School of Dentistry is on the leading edge of technology and innovation. You're going to be exposed to a dental education unlike any other dental school. And wow, with that being said, it kind of makes me want to go back to dental school again. No, 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 no almost. <laughs> okay. So, if you like to have someone to talk to, 
have a question about dentistry in the real world, or you're confused about your direction, it would be my pleasure to help anyone here because we're all part of the Trojan family. You can reach me through my website, DarrenChuDDS.com, or you can reach out to the administration and uh, they can get a hold of me. So now I just talked about the Trojan family. Class of 2024 and 2026, you are all part of the Trojan family. The Trojan family is something you can't see, you can't smell, you can't hold it in your hand, but you can feel it right here in your heart. So it's all about a family of a network of Trojans helping Trojans in business and in making long-lasting connections. Trojan family is also about helping people in all areas of your personal life. I've met my closest and dearest friends through the Trojan family. So now what I want you to do is, if you look to your left, look to your right, look behind you, look behind in front of you, there's a good chance that one or more of the people you just looked at is going to end up being your lifelong friend. And so that's the power of the Trojan family. So as we say in the uh, USC Alumni Association, the Trojan family is lifelong and worldwide. So over these next few years, you can hear more about the Trojan family and I encourage you to take full advantage of the spirit of Troy. So in closing, I just want to summarize. Number one, make dentistry your hobby and your passion so you'll never have to work a day in your life. Number two, enjoy the learning process even when things don't go exactly as you plan. Use that experience as a learning tool. And number three, practice your way, the way that's right for you, and don't waver even when times get tough. So I just hope that these few pearls of wisdom will help you have a fabulous and fulfilling career in dentistry, gain the respect of others in your community, and provide you a rewarding lifestyle. So class of 2024, 2026, your journey begins right now today. So I wish you all the best of luck, and always remember to keep fighting on. Okay, thank you, Dr. Chu. Now it's time to address the white coat and what it stands for. It not only represents your entrance into the dental profession, it also symbolizes a solemn obligation to your mentors and the educational process as well as an enduring commitment to service and compassion. There is a well-known USC phrase that I feel is very appropriate for this, and you have heard it quite a few times today already, and that is fight on. By putting this coat on today, you commit yourself to always fight on for your patient's health and well-being and for the integrity, honor, and ethics of your profession. At this time, please stand up and put your white coats on. Students, students, please repeat after me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person, promoting health to all people, identifying risk factors, and serving as an advocate for disease prevention. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies, provide the finest clinical treatments and therapeutics, and continue to learn, revise, and enrich my knowledge throughout my career. I dedicate my life 
to the health of those lives I directly or indirectly touch, my family and friends, the broader community, my individual patients, and their families. I extend to the learned faculty, staff and fellow students, my full respect and gratitude, which is their due. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity, thoughtful judgment, and skills derived from scientific evidence. I will always conduct myself with conscience, compassion, and dignity with the health and well-being of my patients and community as the first consideration. I promise to respect the privacy of my patients. I will maintain, by all means in my power, the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect, and together we will nurture our shared humanity. I will not let considerations of religion, nationality, race or ethnicity, gender or sexual orientation, disabilities, political choices, or social and economic standing interfere with my duty to the patient. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations to all our students here today. Yeah. You are now, you are now officially, you are now officially part of the Trojan Dental family. We are here to support you, my door, and the doors of the faculty, staff, and alumni are always open to you and your family members. Welcome to USC, and fight on!
Distinguished guests, please allow our speakers and students to exit first. Thank you for attending.